Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris with a beard and today's video is focusing on beard balm. Now, beard balm tends to get a bad rap um, and most people uh, hype up beard butter um, a lot more than they would beard balm and saying that the benefits of beard balm aren't as great as beard butter can be. Now, I personally got on this vendetta train and um, that's why I'm doing this video because I was wrong. I started using beard balm early on my beard journey, um, probably around the first month and stopped using it around month three. I listened to the critics, I listened to a lot of other people's advice, which isn't a bad thing but it can also lead you down the wrong path into listening to other what you know others have to say and not listening to how your beard adapts to uh, certain ingredients products um, etc now there's nothing wrong with beard butter whatsoever not uh, not trying to um, insult beard butter by any means but beard balm is very beneficial in many different uh, ways. Styling for holding down flyaways. And I have personally dealt with this. Uh, mustache, you know, hair is going this way or heading in the mouth. Um, sideburns just, you know, poofing out. And no matter if I've used heat or how I brushed or how I combed my beard... Beard balm is a lifesaver when it comes to that type of stuff. Me, I like my beard to have like that sculpted look, you know. I want it to really show off the length and the uh, thickness and fullness and volume that it it really has. And sometimes when, you know, a lot of uh, beardsmen can attest to this, is lighting. When you take a picture or when someone else takes a picture, whether they use flash or you're under fluorescent lights, um, different lightings, and your beard doesn't really show its potential and its true form under certain lighting. And I don't care what anyone says, and then this is just my opinion, but sometimes heat just isn't enough and you need that extra kick to uh really dial everything down and get it to the way uh you really know you're capable of so i'm here to tell everyone and advise you with my advice my expertise my um the journey along the way of of growing my beard that Beard balm uh, is very beneficial. Do I think that the early stages that it's a necessity? Not now. Did I before? I would tell you up and down that you shouldn't use it after three months. Like I said, I was wrong. I personally believe now that the longer my beard gets, more than ever I need beard balm. More than ever, um, I've <laughs> I'm stocking up. To be honest with you, I'm, I'm stocking up. I've um, been talking to a lot of different people and a lot of my uh, friends and and certain companies that I trust uh, with my beard. I've uh, I'm stocking up. Right now, I can tell you that I have less than three container or less than four containers of beard balm. And I like to be stocked up so that way, you know, I don't have to panic and have to wait for shipping if I run out. Because I personally, like, I, I take care and I take pride in my beard. So, and I know a lot of you beardsmen out there, um, now this is all completely up to you. This is all just advice and all my, you know, personal experience and and. I can attest to that um, beard balm is very beneficial, especially as the beard gets longer and longer and longer. Um, 
I don't recommend using it at night. I will still, till this day, use beard butter at night because I like to wake up with a more manageable and soft beard. And I just think that if anyone used beard balm, it's you're going to wake up and it's it's not going to be as beneficial as using beard butter at night. But the uh, conclusion and morale of this um, topic of beard balm is don't always listen to the critics. Don't always listen to, you know, someone saying, oh, well, you're... You should really just use beard butter. It's your beard. Do what you want with it. Listen to it. If you think that you need beard oil twice a day, if you think you need to wash your beard that day, if you think you want to use a co-wash that day, so be it. It's your beard. Listen to it. (laughs) Listen to it. But on a serious note, beard balm... It no longer needs a bad rap. There are many, many beneficial uh, attributes to it. And I will further back this up uh, the longer I get to, uh, longer I get across my beard journey. So on that note, stay tuned for the next video. You're not going to want to miss it. Chris with a beard, out.